Welcome back guys. We have a special treat for you today. We're going out on another boat US towboat here in Cape Coral. You may remember about a year ago we were out with Towboat Cape Coral to show you some of their towing packages and we actually got a Mayday call in the middle of that video. But today we're going to go out and show you what you can expect if you do need to get towed in and how you could better prepare and safely get towed back when you do break down on the water. So stick around. All right, we are underway with Captain Andreas again. What's up, Cap? How you doing? <laughs> we had a lot of fun last time we were out in the last video. Um, oh, yes, we did. Let's see if uh, we get another Mayday call. Or... Yeah. Thankfully, nobody really was, you know, in danger. It wasn't too bad, but very good uh, video. I'll leave the link for that up on the uh, description. But um, today we're going to head out. And the last video we showed you how to contact Boat US and the benefits of having the unlimited gold package, right? The unlimited uh, gold I, I, package. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I wish that everybody has the unlimited gold. Yeah, it costs yeah. a lot of money if you get towed in. So you ch could check out that video, give you an idea like, you know, how to be prepared if you do get towed in as far as having the insurance so that you can get this boat towing membership and uh, you don't get charged those exorbitant fees. Uh, for getting towed back in but today we want to tell you a little bit about what you could do to prepare if you have an unfortunate incident on the water you break down or you have a soft grounding so uh we want to show you what you could do to prepare to safely get towed back and get ready for that tow boat that may show up to help you out on the water sound that good? sounds good All right, let's say now the boater calls tow boat us i need a tow i broke down after that initial contact, they notify you guys, whether it's radio or they're using the uh, Boat US app or phone call, whatever it may be. What should they be doing after that call while they're waiting for you to show up? After the call that you're going to do, if you break down, you got all your safety equipment. Or you're supposed to have all your safety equipment on your vessel. I'm guessing get these ready, right? Get these ready. Get your PFDs you don't have ready. Them on. So, oh, what about um, should they drop anchor? Obviously. Try to put anchor down. Make sure you have enough rope so the anchor don't uh, don't drag. It doesn't drag, right? Yep. You want right. to be safe for that waiting time. Correct. So I think the, one of the most important points is you know, drop anchor so you, so you don't, they don't drift. Get into worse situations, actually, right? You know, you don't want them drift drift ashore or uh, drift into the busy channels or anything like that. Exactly. Always check your safety equipment that is up to date and is not expired. Right, expired. That's the biggest thing that expires. Your flares. Flares. They're only good for three years. Right. And uh, they're not cheap. So a lot of people don't like spending the money. Well, that brings up a good point. What's your opinion on those electronic SOS, U.S. Coast Guard approved SOS lights that flash SOS and they could be used as a substitute during nighttime instead of using flares? I highly recommend them. Yeah. Highly they recommend them. Why is that? It's night, it's dark. As a captain, it's hard for me to see. I got a dashboard full of lights over here and I'm looking for a navigation light that is going to be you. If you have that SOS, nobody has that SOS. Right. I so will find you quicker, right. faster. Yeah, you, get, you bring up a good point. Me, I was thinking like it's good because they don't expire. So you don't feel like it, you're not always buying new flares every three years. But that's an added benefit I didn't know about, you know, because that's constant. A flare just lasts for a few seconds, and you may not catch it if you're too far away. But that light, you could keep running for hours at a time if you need to, and uh, it's better visibility. So that's a good point. Correct. It's a little windy out here. We're getting a little wet. It's choppy. A lot of boats out here not helping with the wakes and all. But the sun is out, it's 80 degrees, so that's always good. We got a smiling captain, and that's the most important part. Ready for you. <laughs> so we're on a different boat than the last video. This here, we were on an inflatable last time. This here is solid aluminum all around. We got twin Suzukis. How many horsepower you got on here? I uh, got uh, 100, no, sorry, 350. 350 total. Nice. 
lots of horsepower. Yeah, these uh, these aluminum boats are really heavy duty. And here we are. This is where we're at. Marker 92, Tarpon Point Marina, right on the Caloosahatchee River. Heading out to the Intracoastal Waterway. Now look at all these boats. It's like a parade. That direction's out towards a miserable mile. We're just going to find a uh, place to sit tight and wait for call to come in. So again, just going around the deck, some of the gear they have. You have your heavy-duty tow lines here. Polypropylene. So these ropes, these lines float. Have a call. Uh, line on a boat is not a rope. Fenders put on the side of the boat when you're alongside another vessel. Extra fuel tanks come in handy if somebody runs out of fuel. Dramamine. <laughs> oh, boat hook. We got a nice boat hook right here. Oh, and this attachment. This is what you were showing Tanner before, right? The, yes. the attachment on the end of the that's, boat hook. That's one of the attachments that I have. Yep. I have two different systems in this boat. Right. You slide a hook on there and you could attach it to the tow line. Yeah, those are nice. That's a different one. Yep. So then you could clip. Hopefully, we get to show you how that works. You, you clip it on the tow eye of the uh, uh, the tow eye. boat, the, oh, the trailer eye. Okay. Right. I prefer not to do any knots. Usually, right. if the person is aground, I just gonna hand him a shackle. Oh, I got you. So and he'll put that through the, the eye. Give okay. You, I give you a grounding line with a bow line. It's gonna be at the end. Gotcha. Uh, you're gonna put this in your trailer eye, and I'm gonna pull you out the same bar or from the beach. Right. Okay. So, and that's pretty gonna, pretty heavy duty. Pretty heavy duty. Right here. What's this? Five eighths. Nice. Uh, we find some debris in the water. All right. We're yep. gonna pick it up. It's actually a two by six. Definitely can do a lot of damage to you. Oh yeah, he's got a good eye. He I didn't see this. Let's go pick up that two by six so nobody gets harmed. Yeah. So this one can definitely get some damage. Yeah, somebody it looks like somebody recently hit that. Oh. It's definitely wow. gonna damage your vessel. Oh yeah, that, oh, yeah. that'll cause damage. Let's put it somewhere that it's not gonna hurt us. Yeah, and that's probably the piece they hit that broke off right over there. That's right. You got a good eye. We're gonna call you eagle eye or something. Eagle I don't know. Eye. Hawkeye. <laughs> Last time we were out, uh, you found that uh, oil bottle floating in the that's river right, on right. the uh, on the spreader canal. It's so important to have your eye on your helm, not on your phone. All right, so we got fuel and we're underway again, and we just got a call for a boat breakdown by Fort Myers Beach. So we're heading over that way now. Right now we're in the slow speed manatee zone and tow boats cannot go fast here either. So we got to take it easy and uh, it's going to be a little rough ride. We're getting bounced around a little bit. A lot of wakes, a lot of boats out today and uh, lots of wind. So Cap, what do we have over there in Fort Myers Beach? Uh, right now, I got the email. Oh, we got it. They're using the app. And we got a 22 foot pot finder tournament. Well, where is he now and where is he getting told back to? Uh, he's on Hurricane Bay right now. Okay. He's in Fort Myers Beach. Um, and we're going to tow him back to Moss Marina. Oh, to Moss Marina. Okay. Yes, sir. Know it well. I need to make a phone call right now to let him know that I'm on my way and give him instructions as soon as I get there. Nice. Hi, good afternoon. This is Andre from Boat US Cape Coral. How can I help you, Captain? Where's your location? Hurricane Bay, marker number eight. I know where it's at. Where's your destination? According to the email, you're going to Moss Marina. Not a problem. Moss Marina, it is. You're going to the whole out. Okay. Uh, make sure you have your anchor down so you don't start drifting. 
I should be there in 20 to 30 minutes. Sounds good, Captain. You got my cell phone number. If something happens, you can call me. Or also, you can call Boy US directly. Not a problem, Captain. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, so Captain Andreas just spoke to the uh, the boater in distress. Got the information he needs to uh, get out to him safely. Um, we did talk about anchoring. You mentioned that to him, that, you know, make sure you drop your anchor so you don't drift away. Um, what is something else you wish every boater knew when they call for a tow and you need to go out and uh, give them assistance? Uh, the boaters actually have some lines ready for me. Both sides, port side and starboard side. Also, if you're knowledgeable with ropes, I will highly appreciate it if you know how to tie a bowline. And why is that? Some occasions, I ask my customers if they're aground to do a bowline on the bow of the vessel uh, just to unground them. Uh, the benefit of the bowline is that it will never get tight, so you can uh, get the knot off easily. Right? Yeah, so the bowline is one of the best knots to know if you are a boater. So it's very, very, very versatile. I'll show a little video of it, how it gets tied. The way I remember it is the rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, and back out of the hole. <laughs> Look it up. All right, we are exiting the no wake zone. And here we go. Hammer down. They're really getting beat up out here. I'm on a call. Coming into Fort Myers Beach. This came in the channel. Woo! That was quite the ride. Sorry for that. <laughs> you, know, you had to get here quick. I want to leave the customers job. waiting. So, a lot of boats out today, a lot of wakes. So we're on the lee side of the island here, so it should be a lot calmer in here. But as you can tell, I hope you can hear me, it's windy. Wow, there's so many boats. So here's the pole with the clip attached to it. So you're able to hook this right on the front of the boat. That's pretty neat. And it just comes right off this way. Captain getting all prepared here for the tow. So we're getting set up for a hip tow here with the fenders. And just tie up alongside the other boat. That's my boat right there. I'm pretty sure that's the pathfinder with the tower. We're out of the no-wake zone, so we can pick it up a little bit in here. Coming up on the boat. That's perfect. How you guys doing? So these guys are smiling because they have tow insurance. <laughs> there you go. Go, go, go U.S. That's the best promotion right there. Get rules. your towboat insurance. I would never go on the water without the towboat. There you go. You heard it from the, the captain. So we're hooked on with our tow line to their tow hook there on the bow. And now he could safely pull his anchor up so he doesn't drift away. I'm going to put you on the stern tow. Yeah. Just keep your motor down, keep it straight. That's all our boat's out. I'm going to put you short. 
And when we get close to Moss Marine, I'll put you on the hip and let me know where you want me to put you in. You never lock it. All right, so we have our. Oops, I'm losing it there. We got a tow behind us. Yeah, we have our unlucky customer, but uh, they're all smiles right now. They have insurance. They have the tow insurance. But um, all right, so we have him on. What is, what kind of tow is this called? This is uh, called. We got a, a short, short stern tow. Short stern tow. So this. What are the different types of tows that you would typically pull a boat by? We actually pull it on a stern. Uh, for long distance, short distance, uh, depending on the weather, we put it on the hip. Uh, if you have better control of, your, uh, of the boat that you're towing, uh, if you are offshore, probably your captain is going to go ahead and uh, put you on a long stern tow so you guys can go a little faster and the wave doesn't... Uh, you time the waves, right? Yes. You're going up the, and down. The, yeah. waves, the waves won't bother you or pull you or... Um, so other different type of tow, depending also on the captain. Um, but the most common ones are the hip toe and the stern toe. Hip, you think we're going to do a hip toe? Absolutely. We're going to yeah. do a hip okay. toe. It's actually blowing right now, probably like 15 knots, uh, with an incoming tide. So when we go to the Marina, we're going to put them on the hip, uh, take it to the hole out. It will be easier for me. Uh, and also I can control him better more with the traffic that we have right now. So there's our happy customers. They're enjoying the ride. Stress-free ride back to the dock. Doesn't cost them any fuel. <laughs> you know what? The best part doesn't cost them anything. Right. Not a dime. Thank you, boy, US. So if you don't have your tow insurance with Boat US, I will leave a link in the description with a promotional code that gets you I think it gets you 10% off I'll have to check on that but uh, the promo code should still be active if you're in Cape Coral please give us a call 239-945-1664 there you go well you guys cover um, you guys cover a long area here we're in Fort Myers right now so you cover Fort Myers obviously you cover Cape Coral you cover Pine Island Sound, Pine Island Myers. Sound. Yep, you're, uh, you're up by Bukilia, right? No, St. James City uh, or Redfish no? Pass, oh, okay. all, all the way to Wiggins Pass. Uh, we also cover the Kalasahatchee River up to the Franklin right. Lock. Oh, all the way to the lock, all right. And, uh, That's a big area. If so, you guys want the best service, go for US Cape Coral. There you go. All right, so once we have a tow hooked up, while we're underway, what are some of the concerns or some of the things you would like the boaters to do while you're towing? Get oh, that motor straight, like I said before. Be paying attention to the towboat captain if he has anything to say to you. And lastly, just as we're about to approach the dock, is there anything that the uh, boaters need to know or do as we're approaching the dock? Absolutely. There's always something that the boater can do for me when we approach in the dock. And that is get your lines ready. Good tip. You know, you'd be surprised how many people I see that don't have their lines ready. Pulling it. up to a gas dock, pulling up into a slip at a dock and dine. They're fumbling for lines when they're right there at the dock. That should be all done before you're even close to the dock. Yep. Security call, security call, security call. This is Tobo US, boat number six, outbound Fort Myers Beach Bridge with a disabled vessel in tow on the stern. All traffic concern, be advised, I'll be standing by channel 1916.
All right, so we got our tow for the day, and we are heading back to station. Our station, your station. Let's go back to Cape Harbor. Cape Harbor, here we go. Hopefully it's a little nicer ride. We got the wind at our back at least, and uh, we shouldn't be as wet. But uh, it was a nice, successful day. Thank you to Captain Andreas and Towboat US Cape Coral. And we hope to be out here again if we get invited back. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you around next time. Thanks for watching, guys.